Folks, um, this is a shout out to Jim Lee. I'm going to link you to Climate Viewer News. Uh, who Jim just does an immense amount of work uh, with the weather modification, geoengineering, all that stuff. You, you really need to be interacting with Jim if you don't know him. Go over to his site. And because of his uh, endless effort, ever since I've known the man, it's going on four or five years now, I've interacted with Jim. Um, and, and just seeing him pour every bit of time and energy into what he's trying to do to inform you, uh, it's just incredible. But anyway, tonight I get home, I'm running behind, but Jim makes sure that he gives me the weekly update because I'm so busy, I'll forget to look for it, and then I'll miss it, and so he goes out of his way to make sure he uh, shares it with me on Google. And so then I obviously share that with everybody, um, and tonight it raised a question from an anonymous supporter, staunch activist, who's very awake, who said, so geoengineering really is real? I mean, this person is in the know and didn't know. Now he does know. And that provoked me uh, to show him the site that I'm about to show you, Weather Modification Incorporated. Now, this is just one company, folks, and I don't know how many more are out there, but what I can show you from this website should horrify you. Um, and I'm going to ask you to just take a, a simple action here by emailing these people, and I'll show you in a minute that I'm going to do the same. Um, anyway, we're here at the Clients and Projects page. Now, it always horrified me. Uh, now, you can see all their clients throughout the world. So if you think you're going to stop this or fight this, you know, they'll kill you. They, they'll kill you. Um, but what you have to understand that it is going on and do the research to detox, uh, pull this shit out of your system, uh, and, you know, still make noise about it, still try. But uh, but this this goes deep, folks. This, this is a global issue. Um, now, right here, first client top client for the United States for weather modification, uh, Aeromet, U.S. Department of Defense. That, that, that concerns me because I, I don't know what defense has to do with weather and yeah, I know you have to keep an eye on the weather to launch wars and stuff, but I mean, come on. Okay, so I went to look, we'll just open this in a new tab here. Because um, I'll tell you what they did for each of these entities. Equipment sales, 1993, uh, weather radar systems in sale and installation. Now, that seems pretty harmless. Uh, but first we have to question, is that all they do? You know. Um, but let's go on, because I want to show you that all over the country, uh, Delaware, uh, and there's other stuff you, you could look into, but Illinois, uh, Naval Surface Warfare Center. That might be an interesting one to... I haven't opened that one. Radar Validation Experiment, 2009. Aircraft and Crew for Atmospheric Assessment and Evaluation. So, yeah, they're, they're trying to figure out what they can do to help the Navy is what that boils down to. Uh, Nevada, New Mexico, North Dakota. You'll see all kind of stuff going over. North Dakota, Northeast Sampling, Oklahoma... Uh, panhandle, it must be Florida, groundwater conservation. Uh, you'll see <laughs> that uh, they have all kinds of excuses for messing with the weather. But they do it on a regular basis. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Texas, all over Texas, Utah, uh, West Central Texas, again, Dakota, Western Dakota, Wyoming. Um, we can check out Wyoming. I clicked on a few of these earlier snowpack augmentation and atmospheric assessment. I did see one, too, that had something to do with a thunderstorm project. Uh, yeah, right here, North Dakota Thunderstorm Project. Um, there was another one I saw for hail mitigation. Um, you know, and you can justify all kind of stuff, but you can't justify messing with the weather. And nobody has told us what is in this shit they're spraying? 
do we do we don't know completely it'll be just like the fracking i'm sure they can not tell you uh you know to protect their um trade secrets bullshit you're poisoning me you're spraying something in my environment that i'm taking into my body i have a right to know what it is and so uh, you'll see here, I filled out the form. I I'm going to see what their response is. I'm going to ask you guys to do the same. I'll just link you to the website, poke around. Um, you can even call them. Look at that. Maybe I'll do that as well. But I'm going to send them an email first. Uh, I included my phone number in my email and my comment. The idea of manipulating the weather is quite disturbing to me simply on the basis of believing in natural life and its process. The second thing that is even more worrisome is the question as to what elements are falling in our air and therefore in our food and water. Would you please give me a list of compounds used along with the techniques used to deploy them? I will research the impact and toxicity for each myself. And you, uh, you, I want you guys to see that that has been sent uh, because again I'm not going to ask you to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself or haven't already done myself um, and I think maybe you know will this change anything it will for some individual and if you listen to the live show earlier tonight that's the only reason I'm doing any of this because there's one or two more of, of you out there that don't know something that I do know and the only thing I have to give you is my knowledge. And, and if I can give that to you, and it keeps you or your kids safe, then I've justified my being here on this planet, wasting your time, breathing your air, eating your food. Um, so hopefully everybody will do a little better. That's it. Because for the most part, I've given up on changing any of it. We got an ass kicking coming, and it was due. But in the meantime, there's things that you still don't know, and they're killing you slowly. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.